So I'm going to show you how to find the galaxy that has this supermassive black hole in it. So obviously, that's the Earth. That's where we all live. Um, and the sun is directly behind us. So this is the day side of the Earth, and it's completely lit up, such that if you were in the northern hemisphere, and you look south at this point, this is midday. So you see the sun is due south at midday. And this is looking due south at midnight. And the reason that's important is because if you look more or less due south at midnight from the northern hemisphere, what you see is these two constellations here, Virgo and Leo. Both are fairly big constellations, about the size of the Big Dipper. And the M87 galaxy is just about there. So let's zoom out here for a bit. And there we go. Um, we zoom in about there somewhere, and there it is. There's M87. Just there. So it's sort of between Leo and Virgo. The easiest way to find it is you get these two fairly bright stars in Leo, and you come out about the same distance again. You sort of star hop to it. Um, there it is. Boom. Uh, you will need a pretty decent telescope and a dark sky to see it. You try to see this from a city, uh, there's just going to be too much background light, too much sky glow. But from a dark sky or a dark-ish sky with a medium-sized telescope, you've got a good chance of seeing this galaxy. The downside, of course, is this is a very unremarkable galaxy. Uh, it's almost completely structureless and it, it's just going to appear like a fuzz patch. But it is quite often fun to just look at these things and know that, you know, in the core of this thing, there is this supermassive black hole. I mean, one of the things I, I quite often like doing is when you look at Saturn, so let's go to Saturn. The program, by the way, is called uh, Celestia, and it's free. Um, yeah, when you look at Saturn... Uh, you titan is quite easy to see saturn looks great even in modest sized telescopes and with most modest sized telescopes you can see titan and the thing that's fun about titan is there's actually the man-made probe on titan the, the huygens probe and so you see this little dot billions of kilometers or miles away and on that little dot He's a, a man-made probe that's landed. It's just kind of cute. So anyway, that's how to find the uh, M87 galaxy. So if you're interested in getting into astronomy, I'll leave some Amazon affiliate links to telescopes that would be useful for various mm, different roles below. And with that, I'll leave you with my sky cannon showing Jupiter by the full light of day. So this is pretty much a first for me. As you can see, the sun's pretty much full risen. And uh, so I had the telescope here doing a time lapse all the way up there on the moon. I have to know Jupiter's right next to the moon, or fairly close to it. So I told the telescope to go find Jupiter for me. And thus he does. And so, there you go, that's Jupiter, in the full light of day. So that really is Jupiter. Move the telescope a little. There you go, Jupiter. In the full light of day.